Well, I talking about well talking about editing. Yeah. And like this roadcaster has made my editing just I don't have any now. Oh. Like it's it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I just you. want to talk about how I love it, how much I love it so much. I also really like the roadcaster. Okay. It is you so know what? Nice. This is gonna be the last ten minutes of the show. Um we're gonna do our we've been using the roadcaster for Two weeks now. Two weeks. This is our third week using it. Mm. Let's do our comprehensive review on the Roadcaster. Things we love and things we don't love. Well, like, I don't know. It just, I just wanted to say it made my life so easy last week. The right. week the week before, we had troubles with uh, some levels. I don't remember what. That was our fault, though, to be fair. Yeah, something was messed up. Um, our gain was, we didn't set our gain. That's right. So we oh, just, and then I moved it halfway through the show. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah because i didn't know enough about it um yeah. but so that week i had to mix in mix it um individually which you can probably tell i realized in the intro you fade this down right and then you bring it back up mm. and i my my fade keeps going down <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so it's like <laughs> yeah yeah right um but yeah so but last week um the so for people who don't know, when you export what you've recorded on this, it comes out, there's one stereo track that has everything on it, everything that you do here, it's all like put together for you. And then it also records everything separately. So you also get one track of every single thing um, so that if you need to, you can mix it separately. Um, but last week... That, that is a setting though. Like I had to turn that on. Uh, okay. Like normally it'll just send it out as a stereo a track. Stereo you track. just can't. Uh, Right. Um, but yeah, last week the stereo track sounded great. So all I did was a little bit of mastering. So I just a little bit of EQ. I think I just brought out a little bit of the bottom end because I don't know why, but um, one of our mics was too boomy. Probably this one. Probably. Um, should be better now with the pop filter. Yeah, it should be a little bit. Because doesn't the pop filter... And it's a little further away from your mouth, so yeah. it should be a bit better too. I'm not like on it. I can't it. get on it anymore. No. Which is a bit sad. Oh, that didn't feel nice on my mouth. No, it was a bit scratchy. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Tasty? <laughs> no. Um, but I do have one problem with this. Yes, go. When you switch it off, it says, it comes up with a little thing on the screen that says, do you want to power down? Are you sure you want to power down your Rodecaster? I know exactly what you're about to say. And there's a yes and a no. Let me get this right. The no... Is on the left hand side, and the yes is on the right hand side. Either way, whichever side it's on, it's not intuitive. It just feels wrong. Normally, it's the uh, for for Max at least. I don't know what I don't remember what it's like for Windows because I just don't use Windows. But um, like the OK is on the left and cancels on the right. Yeah. But for this, it's the opposite. Yeah. Um, that's such a, that's a and, minor pet peeve. I love it. I know, but every time I go like go to hit no, and it's like oh, hang on. It's on the wrong side. I just figured out what the red dots are. Recording? Clipping? No, no. On the It's phantom power. Oh. Those are the ones that have phantom power switched on. Oh, that may, I was like, does it mean it's recording? Are we not recording from? Yeah. Are we clipping? That's why. Because I had to turn phantom power on three when I was testing other stuff. Ah. Um, no, I am super happy with the Roadcaster. I love it. I That's genuinely great. think it's one of the best investments I've ever made. Mm. Um, and... As well as being an awesome prop, yeah, it's a great piece of tech. Like the soundboards are so easy to to use and to put. Like, uh, so yeah, how do you put sounds on them? Literally, it's you just open a laptop, plug it in, and if you have the app, you just drag and drop. That's it. Whoa. Yeah, and you can drag them onto specific pads and rearrange it and stuff. It's super easy. And there's different screens in here too, isn't there? Yeah, so you can that you. It's I don't think you can do it somewhere. live. But um, you you can have several banks of different podcasts and sounds ready. That's so cool. It's really, really well done. Mm. Um, but I am super, super happy with it. And like all the integration with like your phone and Bluetooth. Yeah. And being and able to connect your computer. Like last week on the on the post for a show, you connected your phone. Well, yeah. Phone and we just before. like I just showed you a lot of music. Yeah. And, that sort of thing. and it was, was it was like that. Yeah. Like it, was it was so almost quick. instant. Yeah. It's actually I think it's connected now, actually. Oh, no, now it's connecting. Oh, no. It's connecting. I think I turned Bluetooth off on my phone so that it wouldn't. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so cool. 
I am super, super happy with our purchase yeah. of the Rode Roadcaster Pro. It, it just makes life really easy and really, it's really simple. It really does, yeah. Um, I wish I had a Roadcaster for video. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just like a computer where I could go, here's all the video, and then it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that being said, there mm-hmm. is a way to do auto camera switching. Is it? Based on mic input. Oh. Uh, but, but that wouldn't like just like a wig out? No, because it's, it's, I think it's a timer based thing where if someone, if one mic has input for X amount of time, it'll go to that one. Uh, um, but then you wouldn't have wides. And yeah, I like right. having our wide to just be like, me, nee, hello. Nee. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. Um, and it's absolutely worth every cent that it yeah. costs.